Think about all the things that people have gotten away with. Yeah. I mean, look at this fucking Ghislaine Maxwell thing. Yeah. Ghislaine Maxwell, this, I've said this before, I'll say it again. She's the only person ever to be tried and arrested and put in jail for sex trafficking to no one. There's no list. Where's the list of the people that she sex trafficked to? Well, the problem is we know that they're head of state, billionaires, wealthy people, famous people. King's where, brother. Where, yeah, King's brother. Where's this list? Where's the list of people? The, the list is non existent. So you're trying her and convicting her for a crime where if you're, if you're sex trafficking, that means you're trafficking to someone. And th if that someone is an American citizen or a British citizen, that, that is an illegal act. So who are these people that have committed this illegal act? Because they're responsible as well. Right. So who are these people? And how is there no well, discussion of this? Well, there's no discussion because Jeffrey Watts' face hung himself in his prison cell. Yeah. Yeah. Which is <laughs> insanely bizarre, right? That one. That's insane. Oh, the cameras just happen to not work. How convenient. Yeah. There's ligature marks around his neck and a fractured neck bone. No worries. Yeah. That's what happens when you hang yourself. We were having a cup of coffee. Yeah. Or whatever it was. I, I confess I don't know a huge amount about the Jeffrey Epstein affair. Or... I know too much, unfortunately. I've read too. It's a very disturbing thing. But the most disturbing thing is that there's no list. Like this is that that's a real crime. Right. Well, isn't the story the anecdotal? The anecdote is isn't isn't it that um, isn't Andrew supposed to have given somebody twelve million quid to go away? Yeah, and to get off the list. Supposedly, it's hard to know whether or not that's true, but for sure, there's money's been exchanged, influence has been exchanged. Something people are just—they're not throwing any bones. Right. Like you know, there, there has to be a large group of people that were involved in this, and there's none that are being exposed, yeah. which is quite fascinating. Because I guess if you did get exposed, if someone said, "Hey, you know, blah blah blah, head of this bank, we have evidence that you were having sex with underage girls," that person could say, "Okay, what about Bill Clinton? What about this guy? What about that guy? He was there too." And then the House of Cards comes down. So Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Hard to imagine. Not just Bill Gates, but Bill Gates after Jeffrey Epstein had been arrested and convicted for statutory rape. Mm. Right? I mean, he, he'd already, he had that very light slap on the wrist. Yeah, did, did he? I, as I yeah, say, that was I the first really arrest. There was the arrest. There was a first arrest, and then it, he was convicted, and he got this very light sentence. And then uh, there, I believe there was a journalist. I forget who the journalist was, but one journalist who kind of tracked this down and hounded this story until it became exposed publicly, and then then he got rearrested, and then he got arrested and tried for other crimes, and then once he was in jail, that's when they you know suicided him. Yeah, it's Yikes. a wild story. Yeah, but just the fact that there's a place like that, there's an island. That he owned. Like, and where is this guy getting this fucking money? I don't know. It's me. To run, to own an island, and the island is for sale now for I think it's a hundred million dollars or something like that. Like, wh where'd you get that money? You know. And then the the CEO of uh, Victoria's Secrets gives him a sixty million dollar mansion in Manhattan. Like, what? And then you find out that these other CEOs have given him a hundred million, one hundred fifty million, fifty million. Like, what? What's, what is this? Some bizarre in, in intelligence operation? Like, what is this? Like, what are they doing here? You sound like a conspiracy theorist. I do. Theorist. I am a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> some, I'm, look, some of them are real. I'm not a, a outrageous or illogical conspiracy theorist for the most part. I believe you. But there's a lot of conspiring. The idea that conspiracies don't exist. Well, what about Enron? What about the, what about the Iraq War? What about there's yeah. so many conspiracies that you can prove easily. Yeah, they've turned out to be true, and just yeah. follow the money and power. Yeah. <sighs>